Hey everybody, it's Julie. Thanks for joining me here today on the Creative Retreat channel for a process video. I'm using the Anchor of Hope collection, this kit. Basically, I'm using the Faith Art Box. The devotional is written by Andrea Lucado, and it's about Jesus being our hope that anchors our soul. And because Jesus gives us hope, then we can continue hoping in our present and hoping in the future. I'm going to be using the elements of this kit, especially this stencil here. And with that stencil, I'm going to use some Liquitex Coarse Texture Gel. It's just what I had on hand. And I'm going to make a shaker card. So I'm doing some hymnal journaling today. I'm in my hymnal on the song, In Times Like These which is an old faithful hymn. It was written in uh, 1944. I love to hear uh, Southern Gospel quartets, groups like that sing this hymn. And I'm starting off by giving it a shading around the borders with a blending tool. I've started with the color Planetarium, which is one of the pigment inks from Creative Retreat Kits, but it's a little too blue for what I want. So I'm going over that with some Distress Oxide ink in Hickory Smoke. And the combination of the two colors uh, suits me much better. I like the way that looks. And I'm gonna come back in after I've blended that some with one of the stamps, this scalloped edge stamp. And I'm gonna give this whole page a frame using that hickory smoke ink. Now this hymn, in times like these, here's the words to it. In times like these, you need a savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure, be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. And then it goes on, in times like these you need a Bible, in times like these you need a savior. Um, this rock is Jesus, the only one. I'm very sure, I'm very sure, my anchor holds and grips the solid rock. So I have inked up that stamp and I stamped the border around my page, used my stamp chamois to clean that, and now I'm combining those two colors and I'm going to water that down and splatter. Just add some splatter to my page. So I watered those two colors down and just with a wet paintbrush, I picked that up and splatter that. And I just did that on a Bible mat over there. You can use any kind of um, plastic like this plastic right here from the packaging. You can also use that instead of the Bible mat. But I'm gonna use that packaging in just a moment. So I'm taking the devotional card and I'm actually cutting that up. Now I, um, you can always make a copy of this and use it. I can um, print out another devotional card if you get the digital. And I cut that up because I love that that navy blue print with the anchors on it. And now I'm taking this stencil and I'm adding some Zig two-way glue just around the edges of the stencil on the back side. And that is so that I can get a temporary adhesive. I'm letting that dry completely. And that's gonna help me use my stencil so that the product won't leak through, that the stencil won't move around. I've put some of that coarse texture gel over on my Bible mat and with a spatula, I'm just gently um, scraping that over the card so that it gets down there in the stencil. You wanna be careful not to you know, smush it all around, just have it kind of flat. And right now, you can't see anything. I just had this coarse texture gel, but it, it really adds a neat dimension. It's kind of like it's gritty and coarse and sand. You can always use acrylic paint or just a texture gel 
or anything like that, make sure you wipe off your stencil and your um, palette so that it cleans up. You don't want to let that dry on there. Okay, now I'm taking a little dish and putting some powder in it. Now, why am I doing that? I'm going to make a shaker card. So I want to use a lot of these little shapes here, the sea stars, the shells, the anchor, and of course, all the little wonky hearts. And I'm putting them in the powder. It's kind of like I'm battering them, like if you're cooking things, making some fried chicken or something. I'm actually putting them in the powder to get rid of the adhesive on the back, and it does a beautiful job with this. So I do that with all my little elements that I'm going to put in my shaker card. Now I could use the Faithville Digitals and cut out those shapes if I printed them on, say, some cardstock, but I actually, as of this point, because we just moved, I don't have my printer connected to the internet yet. It's not working. So I just had to use what I have here. I am now making my title card and I use the words Jesus and anchor and then with the little alphabet tiles stickers I am saying Jesus is my anchor. That hymn said be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Jesus is my anchor. I am anchored in Christ. And that is something that I need right now in times like these, in these crazy times that we've had over the last couple of years, especially. It just shows how crazy life is and how um, desperately we need that anchor, Jesus Christ. So I've taken that packaging that the stencil came in and I have just trimmed the edge a little bit and I put my card in there and now I'm placing all my little shaker card elements that are no longer sticky. So now you can see why I wanted to get rid of the adhesive on the back because I want those shaker cards, those shaker elements to kind of be able to move around. And now I have some washi tape. It's navy blue and I think this came from a, a collection from Michaels. And I'm also using this tab from the sticker sheet that says Anchored in Christ, and I'm going to powder that up too. I do have an EK Success powder tool or um, a Magic Buddy, something like that, that has powder in it, but because I wanted to completely get rid of the adhesive on these elements, I'm just using that powder. Um, it's, it's more effective when you've got a lot there, but I, I do want to stick my tab up at the top so I do put a little bit of adhesive just on the bottom edge and I'm going to use some of that washi tape and cut it down uh, tear it and then anchor that tab to it putting some of that washi up above at the top of my shaker card I do come in though and and change a couple of things where it says Jesus is my anchor I feel like you can't see that as well so I'm going to um, mat the words Jesus and anchor and you'll see me do that in just a moment too. I'm switching some things around. This is a very simple page but I do fuss a little bit with the elements. I decide I want that tab actually on the shaker card and then I had some fabric you can see over the right I made a bow clip with some fabric that matches that um, that background card perfectly. It's navy blue and it's got those anchors on it. So here I'm just using um, the backing that came in behind the stamp set or behind the stencil for that white cardstock. And I backed these little stickers, the little um, word fetty stickers that say Jesus, Anchor, and Christ and I'm using those one up on the tab and then I put those back on my devotional on my shake, shaker card and I used a little bit of foam adhesive to make that pop up. I date stamped my page, I clipped that to my hymnal page, added the tab up at the top with the the circle that says firm and secure and then I 
wrote some journaling that I'm including in the back of my shaker card. And there we have it. Here are some shots of my page and its elements. If you have any comments or questions on this easy hymnal page, then leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to check those. I do have all the products linked in the description box. And until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.